was the last time you had a sweet treat? Well, that depends what sweet treat means. I had some yogurt for lunch. Does that no, count? No, no, I'm talking candy, bars. chocolate, yeah. I don't know, a week or two ago, maybe? Oh, you're much better than I am. You're going to need to teach me your ways. Well, we know this, right? But there are several studies out there linking the amount of sugar you eat to your mood. Maybe that's why you're so happy all the time. Yes. <laughs> so, how do you control your sugar intake and how much sugar your kids are eating, especially when it seems to be in just about everything that we eat these days? 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Muller has some answers tonight. They're grown today and very conscientious and aware of what they put in their bodies. Jerry Grossman has two daughters. She says she's always discouraged her girls from eating sugary foods. For all the right reasons, mood swings. Grossman says she shut out sugar in order for her family to live a healthier lifestyle. Quality of life, mood, health. And health experts say that sugar-free approach is smart. Research by Columbia University found that overeating foods high in sugar can increase your risk of depression. One study found that large intakes of sugar increase the risk risk of depression in men more than 20%. Why? If blood sugar levels are too high, then our body sends insulin to level it out. But if the insulin lowers it too much, it can have a stress hormone response, and that's when our bodies can experience mood and behavioral changes. If you have a drop in blood sugar, there'll be a rise in irritability, agitation, uh, depression, anxiety. Trisha Sauer is a registered dietitian nutritionist in Buffalo. She says if your blood sugar drops because of eating too many refined or bad sugars, you'll experience a sugar crash and lead to fluctuations in mood. You need a steady level amount of sugar in your blood to keep your brain fueled at a steady pace. And with Halloween right around the corner, avoiding all that temptation won't be easy. And avoiding extremes is really important. In Buffalo, Brittany Muller, 7 Eyewitness News. Oh, sorry.